Hello Aries and welcome to your three month forecast for April, May and June of 2022. We do have the eclipses at the end of April, beginning of May, or I'm sorry, end of April, middle of May. So, you know, things are going to be shaking up a bit around that time. So Aries, let's get in and let's see what's happening for you guys, starting with your month of April. Show us Aries. What is happening for Aries over these next three months? All right, in April we have Syrians B, responsibilities, lessons, growing up. Ooh, and that's so symbolic of many of you having a birthday in April. Things are gonna change. It's like a rite of passage for Aries this year. Next is Shadow Self, Denial, Projecting, and Shame, and that is in May. And June, uh, Vegan, Solitude, Independence, and Peace. All right, Aries. So the energies that are coming through, what Spirit is talking about is there is a big shift and fundamental change that is going to take place within you over April, May, June. And in that space, Aries, you're going to come to terms with things that have been bothering you, haunting you, holding you back, holding you down, things that you've been fearing, okay? There's a lot of that taking place in April and May, which makes sense because those are when the eclipses are happening. And, and like, you're just going to see things differently. Um, I don't know what that movie's called, but um, it's where that guy, you know, he gets these special sunglasses. And um, when he puts them on, like, all the billboards and all the magazines are like, consume, obey, comply. Like, I see that here for you where... Um, through your coming into your new solar year and then these eclipses happening right after that it's like you are shifting you are changing and where you once saw something that was glamorous and shiny you see it for what it is a, a good thing to say like the rose colored glasses are coming off which is good it's not like this painful disillusionment it's more like aha let me pluck this thorn out of my side and here we have this new moon and then down here we have the full moon okay um the new moon uh eclipse in taurus and then the full moon eclipse in scorpio yes very impactual for aries to break through to break free Break through, release yourself from the chains of different thoughts, patterns of behavior, relationships, okay? You're just going to see things from such a different perspective, and it's liberating, and it's freeing to you. I swear, it's like you're plucking a thorn out of your side, which leads you into June, where you have harmony, flow, peace, and happiness. So let's pull some more cards, Aries. Nice, you got the harvest. Yep, Aries the Sea, I told you this is positive. Ooh, now you got Samhain right here with the shadow self and that could not be more perfectly paired. And oh my gosh, and you got the Yule. So you've got uh, Mabin, Samhain, and the Yule. Three uh, holidays coming through Aries. And I just did your solar return and I believe you got this card. Okay, um, in the same spot for April or the first three months, April, May, and June. So beautiful, Aries. You are moving into a period of harvest, okay? But through this harvest, part of this is the reception of the truth. The veil is thinned. Nothing can fool you. There's no lies. There's no pretending. You just see it all for what it is. And through that, it is so liberating and freeing. Like, I feel that you've been held to certain things, like out of like this sense of guilt or remorse. And you're awakening and you're realizing, what? 
I don't owe that person anything or why have I been believing this? Why have I been sticking true to this when this isn't even who I am? It's like you are awakening into a whole new version of yourself. 2022 is a very powerful uh, new solar year for Aries, okay? And you're starting to receive the fruits of your um, labors of the past, all right? Uh, so April... It's like, you know what? I've walked the line. I've done what I was supposed to do. You're moving into your new solar year, and there's a lot of blessing that comes with that, okay? And um, with responsibilities, lessons, and growing up, there is like an expansion of consciousness where past challenges and pain are now transforming into wisdom and strength. This is a very significant birthday and year for Aries. You move into May. You're overcoming everything that's ever held you back, which you've been afraid of, all of it. You see it for what it is. It no longer has power over you. Also in May, um, passed on loved ones. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. Some of you have a very strong energy of a passed on loved one trying to communicate with you in the month of May. And then here it is in June, the Yule. You're letting all the past go. And it's like a new version of you is being born. And in June, Aries, you're going to find that you aren't as social as you normally are. You're going to want to be in your own energy. It's like this rites of passage over April, May, and June. You um, being the caterpillar that's transformed into the butterfly coming out of the cocoon in April, wings um, drying in May, and finally able to take flight in June. Oh, this is so beautiful, Aries. Let's pull some more cards. Like, yeah, just with these three cards, this is, look, 12, 13, 14. Oh, this is a, a major year for you, Aries. And uh, this is just kind of a little bonus message for some Aries. This is a year where a very long-desired relationship comes into your life, manifests, whether this is a friendship or romantic person. Like the best friend that you've always wanted or that love that you feel you've dreamed into reality. All right, April, look at, yes, yeah, see the world. You are closing a chapter. Four of Swords, mm -hmm. you are closing a chapter, Aries. Uh, Knight of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Yeah, look at that. A lot of information coming to Aries. The Fool with the Will of Fortune. Oh, wow. Okay. So, here we are in April. Yep, Aries, you are completing an era, all right? A very long journey. You've got the world and the fool in this lineup for April, May, and June. And that tells you that you've completed a lot at the soul. And so as you move into your new solar year, it's a time of relaxation, of comfort, of peace, of harmony, of abundance, all right? And just the way things start unfolding in April brings a lot of healing and peace to your soul. And then you come into May, and you know, just with all of this uh, pairing of cards, you are getting a lot of assistance from passed on loved ones, ancestors, to really overcome the different things that you have feared, that have haunted you, seeing people for what they really are, okay? Like major eye-opening events taking place for Aries in May, and then here we come into June. Whole new chapter, whole new beginning. So it's like the chapter is completing here in April, and then the transitional period, like look at it as like your life review, all of that happening in May, and then June, moving into the new adventure, the new journey, the new sense of self, the new life, the new lifestyle, which feels very blessed, very fortunate. And remember, some of you, your wings have dried and you want to fly solo. You want to do things on your own. You want to shake things up. Some of you might decide 
to make a really big change in your life. All right, let's pull some more tarot to clarify further. Yeah, you're truly seeing it all for what it really is. And it's liberating and it's freeing to you. No one's lies, dogma, ideas, opinions, desires for you and your life are going to control you anymore. They're not. You just see everything for what it is. Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, uh, Ten of Swords. Wow, Aries, you're coming out of some hardship. Uh, King of Wands, King of Swords, and Queen of Cups. Wow. Okay, so first and foremost, a huge balancing coming to the mental body. Okay, we've had defeat. We have a lot of worries. We have a lot of concerns. And as events move through April, all of that is being put to rest. You're not going to have these same worries anymore, Aries. And then you come into May, and here, things that have haunted you, have defeated you, that you have feared, you're overcoming them. They're no longer going to have power over you. It's like um, mentally, you're coming into this beautiful place of peace, harmony, and balance because of this great expansion of consciousness and then here as you move into June I see a couple of relationships coming into your life Aries some new relationships some new friends some new people um, we have air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius and we have water energy Cancer Scorpio Pisces okay and um, with these particular energies the way they're paired these are really awesome connections that bring you peace Okay, um, this could be new friends, new romance, new co-workers for some of you. But you're really going to enjoy these people. Um, one of them is very analytical, very truthful, very insightful. The other one is tender and sweet and deep with emotion and will really understand you in a way like nobody else has. So Aries, April, May, June, beautiful time of blessing coming out of the cocoon wings drying and then flying free so let's um pull some tea leaves and we'll separate it into three separate piles so for april give us some highlights spirit about aries harp great happiness and that just had to jump out aries older man dealings with or a relationship with an older man and this the older man Aries this is you whether you are male or female this is like a year of rites of passage for you a lot of change maturity sophistication growth elevation expansion I just keep hearing rites of passage oh okay January was um, the beginning of this big change. Like you went into the cocoon in January. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. And candle, you will be shown the way. See, Aries, um, April is filled with so much. It's like... This reading is more spiritual than talking about anything in the physical. And when it's like this, it's because you are fundamentally changing. And it might not seem like that in this moment, but you are. And this year is going to look very, very different in so many ways than it has in the years leading up to it. In January, you went into this cocoon as the caterpillar, all right? In April, you're emerging as the butterfly. Let's go into May. Um, also, a really close friendship in April is highlighted. This person 
you can trust and maybe it is with a person who is older than you you can really trust the advice of this person spirit wants you to know that all right let's look at may Broken ring, a parting of ways in either romance or business. Okay, so remember, all the things that you feared, you're parting ways with that. Okay, it, it's no longer gripping you and holding you. Ooh, look at it. March came through. So um, something that may have ended in March, by May, you're good. You're over it. You see the blessing it was. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Okay, so Aries... Something unfortunate that happened in March, um, it could have been between you and another person or you and like your job or your family, um, and it may have ended. There may have been words spoken, things um, feeling very unfair, like they didn't go in your favor, but Aries, you're going to realize it was all a blessing in disguise because remember, May is the eye-opening month where you just see everything for what it is and it no longer has power over you and no longer hurts you. And so for many of you, this happened in March, okay? It doesn't have to be since this is general, but for many of you, it did happen in March. All right, let's look at June. Well, great worry over nothing. See, here as you, you started um, April, a lot of fear-based energies. By June, you're going to realize, wow, why did I ever sweat any of that? Why did I worry about it? Okay, so we have a younger man dealing a relationship with a younger person. This, to me, represents one of these new energies coming in. They're going to be younger than you. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. After this whole message, look at that. You are taking flight in June, Aries. There is nothing that is going to stop you. There is nothing that is going to hold you back. You are a whole brand new person. You know, and um, this is the last uh, three of the Wiccan holidays of the year. Okay, the harvest, and then Samhain, and then the Yule. And so we see the ending of a long journey and the beginning of a new one. And that pairs perfectly with these cards as well. This is a very special, significant year, Aries. This is when everything is changing. the child within and her mother innocence gentleness tenderness see all that healing that's coming to you in april may the anointed answer the call leadership empowerment soul gifts yeah see look at you wings drying so much coming to you so much awareness so much consciousness expansion everything just finally making sense and falling into place the second bloom a second chance it's never too late new possibilities yeah it's a whole new adventure is beginning for you in june your wings are dry and you are ready to take flight aries all right let's pull some final messages and then we will wrap this up for you guys Your family needs you right now. Call upon your angels to give you strength. All right. Um, this also came out for Pisces, and I feel the same message. Aries, in the month of April, it's about you. It's not about everybody and their needs. Okay? Um, it's just... We see what's going on. Your harvest is beginning and everybody wants to stick their hand out to receive and not everybody deserves to receive, Aries. If in doubt, ask for inspiration from above. 
remember how I said May was going to be the month where your ancestors, your passed on loved ones, are really communicating with you. The veil is very thin. Your uh, psychic antenna is quite strong. Your intuition is strong. Pay attention to that. And for June, you are what you think. Think positive thoughts. And by June, you are the result of the positive thoughts and everything you have gone through. All right. So, Aries, those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.